Hey guys, how's it going? Zero here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. In this episode, we're gonna head on out, fight the Crystal Sage, and make our way towards the Cathedral of the Deep. Um, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to run Farron Keep yet, or the Cathedral of the Deep. I don't know which one uh, we're gonna do first. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, the Cathedral of the Deep is, is, is pretty rough, but Fair and Keep is also pretty hard. I think the next two areas, past Crucifixion Woods, are both uh, equal in size. I would say even the the the, the um, Cathedral of the Deep is probably even a little larger. But it doesn't really matter. Um, the fact is that they're both good places. They're both fun. Why did I go that way? I usually go the other way. It doesn't feel as hard. <laughs> it doesn't feel as hard to get through. Alright, wooden shield. Nothing of great importance. Alright, those guys are going crazy. So we're going to head this way. Pick up our Egon summon. Come on, Egon. Help with these stages, buddy. That's why you're here. Alright, very nice. Very nice, Egon. Alright, crystal sages. Um, and sages is the word. So when you come in here, the sage will spawn. The best thing to do first is to rush. The longer she has the homing up, the longer she will stay in one spot. So that's something to consider as well. Um, and then I always kind of go in the middle, and then as soon as you see her spawn, you can come back and get her. He is more important for the second phase, because he will distract some of her... other options. Okay, this raw weapon is doing way more damage than with my fire weapon on my first run through. Okay, now, right now, there's going to be a bunch of sages that pop up. We're looking for the purple one, which luckily we found it, but if not, you're fighting the blue ones. You can kill them in one hit. Okay, see? Here's the purple one. Wow, that worked out so good. Okay. Looking for the purple. I think it's this one. Yep. Very nice. That was an incredibly good. So, Egon will distract the blue ones. I mean, that is the main reason to bring him. If you don't bring him, I think the best way to do this is strictly go for the blue ones first. And then as soon as you see the purple one, you can run towards that. But it is so hard to dodge. I think she, I think she has like three different summons. And it's so hard to dodge those summons while you're trying to find her. It's it's such a pain in the ass. So, I don't know. That was the smoothest it's ever went for me. Um, I was very happy with the one shot, so... But I suggest taking Egon. I mean, he's there. He's an NPC. You just got him. Especially if you are a cast... Or, um... If... Ooh. 
didn't know that guy was down there. Ooh, there's two of them. Okay. Very nice. I didn't even know this guy was here. Where are we? Oh, we're coming from behind. Very neat. This is like a second way around. Oh, very cool. We kill her. She's the worst. actually deal with the other guys. Fair fights are one thing. You and this shit. That's cool. This is actually a sweet little snipe spot. Alright, he's down there. I thought there were two. Oh, there are two. We run this way, and all is well. All right, the Herald Armor. And actually, that might be a set that we want to think about using. The Herald is the other Holy Warrior, um, and I'm sure the armor is a little bit more heavy, but we could check it out. All right, so go ahead, pop this bonfire. Might as well sit at it and rest, because uh, we have a... Two guys here that I don't know if they respawn or not, but they're kind of shitte. One of them is here. Ooh, so we'll take him out first. Come on, come on, Bubba. What? I was gonna say, you better come. You've always come before. It's those. It's like PvPing, man, fighting these guys. And I'm not that good at PvP. Oh, he got it. All right, come on, you piece of shit. All right, it's very cool. Don't know if he drops anything. No, but there was an item back here. The next guy, though, will drop that poison shield. All right, Paladin's Ashes. Very good. So the ashes you give to the Handmaiden. Um, and actually, before we take on the next guy, we're going to go up this way. A lot of people don't see this path either. looks like it goes down, but we'll end up bringing you up.
and get the crush shield. And is that this one? Okay, so actually just a just a total step up from what we're using right now, except for in weight. Oh no, the same weight. Okay, we're rocking it. Uh, Night shield engraved with a crest, one of the enchanted blue shields. The crest shield greatly reduces dark magic. And heading into the cathedral, that is something that is not a bad idea. Um, this one's not too bad. That was what we were using. Um, and this we found back in the crucifixion woods with the war god wooden shield. A bizarre pattern featured on the shield is the mark of a mad god revered as the god of war in remote regions. Okay, so what we need to do... Revered. Um, let me show you real quick those ashes. Here we go. Alright, the shrine handmade will prepare new items with these ashes. Um, ash of a worn-out paladin who sought the cathedral of the deep. With this, the shrine handmade will prepare new items. So... Hopefully, they're going to be items that uh, kind of go for us. That would be kind of cool. I don't know exactly what they'll be, but we'll find out. Got a knife thrower here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this. Nice shield. Nice shield, bro. This guy's got a little bit more health than his brother. I don't know if they're brothers, but... They're asshole brothers, if you ask me. The... Alright, that looked kind of like it was going to be the go-to... Kill. So when we get him, though, we should get that shield. All right. So then the spider shield. The shield of this style is commonly used. Savage mountain bandits offer high resistance to poison. So definitely cool. Definitely worthwhile. All right. We got a couple dogs in here. This is going to make this area much easier. Coming through here the last time was kind of a mess. Not the hardest enemies in the world in here, but it, an ambush awaits for sure. So. I love that this shield is a hundred physical damage too. That makes it like I'm not gonna be able to get him. Got him. All right, there might be one more dog, but as you can see, there's a guy up there. Dog doesn't see me. Uh, the other way to do this is to run through the back side. Just believe it or not, the dogs weren't the problem, it was these archers start becoming the issue. For some reason, there should be one more dog, right? Or was that the dog? The one that came down was the dog. That must have been him. Okay, that's it. That's all that's in this area. So now we move on. Um, I'm going to get a bit of a freaking scare here. Uh, this son of a bitch wants to blow your mind. Just kind of run away from him. 
he loses his his stamina quite quickly uh, once he dies. But definitely want to watch out for those guys. Okay, so over here we got a couple quick things. Kill him, and then come up here and kill these guys. Doesn't matter how you do it. Oh, but don't get bit. Thousand damage, guys. Thousand one hundred damage. A lot of damage. But right here, you get to pick up another Estus shard. So you definitely want that. And then, if we come over here, hint. All right. Unfortunately, right now. I think what you have to do is get the tower key before we can go in there, so we need 20,000 souls for that. But this was actually this was a good episode because we got the Crystal Sage down and then we made it here to the cathedral. Pop the bonfire at the cathedral, so we're in really good standing right now. Um, ooh, why was there a summon sign here? This is not... Is this just somebody? Caretaker. Is Caretaker... Phantom. Is Caretaker a... NPC? It might be an NPC. It would make sense, because up here is a graveyard. So is that, like, the, the graveyard Caretaker? Interesting. If that's the case. A couple different ways we can go from over here. Um, I believe down this way. Maybe Crystal Lizard. I don't know. There's just a, a ton of different uh, directions to move. And like I said, I don't even know if we're going to come here first or fair and keep. Uh, see? Now, this graveyard makes me think that you could kill these guys all day. So don't worry about it. You don't get any soul. Oh, you do get 22 souls. Okay. Uh, they throw up on you. You don't want that. I don't know why people would have summon signs around here. Unless they just want to help in the area. Okay, well, anyway, let's head back now. We have the Cathedral Deep bonfire. We killed the Crystal Sage. I think... Guys, it's really going to be a freaking mystery whether we come back... See, like, this is... Yeah, that is a character. So Caretaker might just be... That's such a weird name, though. It's just such a weird name. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to Firelink Shrine, pop that Ember uh, Estus shirt, and, and kind of take note. So we killed the Crystal Sage. We are on our way to the Deacons of the Deep or the Abyss Watcher. I guess it depends on which way we go next. Uh, leave a comment in the section if you want to see me go one way or the other. We have to take out both. Um, I at one time thought that the Deacons were optional. Um, even playing through twice now, I did not even realize the small doll that you got uh, from killing the Deacons. So that's an important item that we'll get later. I won't, I won't spoil too much yet. But... Ah, well met, Ashen. How may I... So we're going to go ahead and give those Paladin Ashes. Gracious. Passing fine. Let this... Uh, I only hope... <laughs> Okay, so now she should have new wares. And if we come down here, we see that she actually does have some new wares. So uh, for one is the Crescent Axe. I don't believe she had that previously. That's not actually a bad axe uh, moving forward. That might be something to think about. Um, both of these, I believe she had. Maybe not the Canvas Talisman. That is possible. She didn't have that. Hmm. Temporary increases poise while attacking. No, I don't think she had this one. All right, I'll have to check this with the one I have. Ashen one, be sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fifty-three, but a hundred and eight spell buff, and this one was, I believe, one hundred and seventeen. So this might be worth it. Uh, Morning star. So let's go ahead and just purchase that. I can always keep it for later use. Um, I believe you also get the Sage's Big Hat. And I don't know if you get this after you kill the 
Crystal Sage or if it came from this. But the enormous hat that completely obscures the face belong to the twin gurus known as the Crystal Sages. So it's possible you just get this after you beat the Sage. Oh, and we just also wanted to look at this ring. Boost damage absorption when HP is full. So also kind of a cool ring. Not anything like too amazing that we have to have right now. Um, but also the Exile Armor, I believe, came from them. So not a bad armor set, the Exile Armor. It actually looks pretty sweet. It's just a little... I think it's a little heavy. Yeah, 18 for the build that we're going with. Uh, our man is back. Check him out, and then we'll check out that Herald Armor real quick. Oh, hello. You've come at a good... It took some prowling, but go... All right, so he should have some new items for sale as well. The embers that he normally had, but he also has... Oh, wow, the Zoolander. That is a powerful weapon indeed. And only 19 strength, so that's actually more in our wheelhouse. Now, that would be a mighty paladin to be carrying that. Um, I haven't found the claymore yet, though. So. Ooh, very nice indeed. Okay, what else do we have here? Ooh, the priest chime. This is even better than what she had, so... I'm gonna waste all my money on these chimes and talismans. Um, and he has some armor that he didn't have. Last time he just had the uh, assassin set, I thought? Oh, the thief. Yeah, the assassin set and the thief hood. And this time now he has the hard leather armor, the knight helm, and the knight armor. Now, this is not the red knight armor, I don't believe, but it is uh, very similar in style. Um, the only other thing is now we can also buy fire arrows. So our arrows cost a lot less, uh, but there's now large arrows, sniper bolts, heavy bolts. Um, the fire arrows will come in handy, especially the way that we're using the bow right now. So Goodbye. very cool. The uh, last thing that we need to do, well, besides getting that Estus... All right, he's got another Estus, uh, and I probably should think about now putting a little bit more into, like, maybe carrying two manas around, because we're going to start using... Yeah, see, this one was 17, but... Check that bad boy out. Styling. Looks like I'm an upside-down candlestick. So weird. But yeah, I might want to allot my flesh Estus a little differently here, so I'll put two into mana. Uh, that'll give us a lot of extra heals. So you could actually just put it all into mana and then use that as your heal instead of your Estus. That's a way you could you could play as well. Uh, last but not least, though, let's check out the Herald outfit because that was something that I thought would be better weight-wise. Yeah, see, this is a little bit more in tune, but the uh, the weight of the Herald outfit is going to be better. Oh yeah, I forgot I got the armor of the sun too. I will uh, I'll go over that for you guys a little later. Well, let me not do it too much later. Let me just tell you how I did it. Uh, let's put the Herald outfit on first. Okay, so here's the Herald outfit. This is probably what we'll run with um, in the next episode. I'm looking like beef jerky for sure because of that hollowed state. Oh, my God. Those dart sigils better be worth it. Um, but the Herald set, wicked cool. Uh, steel armor with a pure white cape, a signature of the Heralds of the Way of the White. Protection made of steel has excellent physical absorption, but found lacking against blunt strikes and lightning damage. So it's going to be the physical attacks, um, the strong physical attacks that are going to hurt us. Uh, and here we go is the chainmail armor and white coat featuring a large rendition of the holy symbol of the sun. The choice attire of a singular knight of sunlight from a previous age. Hmm. I wonder who they're talking about. Uh, the symbol was painted by the knight himself, but the armor never bore any special power, sacred or otherwise. So definitely a Fashion Souls type outfit. Um, I think it's pretty sweet. Once I get the helm and everything, I probably will be rocking this outfit just because we are a paladin and, and 
we are we are Solaire in spirit. So, oh, actually, I get the fat rolls now with the Herald outfit, so that's not good. I'm not going to be able to uh, to keep this all on. Yeah, look at the difference. Okay. Sorry, Harold. We're going to have to take you down a bit. And I will, at this point, I might as well go back. I could do any helm, to tell you the truth. The cleric hat is what we originally started with. Any helm will still keep me within... Does it look better with the... That actually doesn't look too bad. I'll go with that for now. My ugly face is showing, but... It's almost exactly like the knight, but without the uh, face mask down. Uh, oh, we should also check out what Boss Soul gives us. Awesome. Alright, so the Crystal Sage. You have uh, the Thrusting Sword, which is the Crystal Sage's Reaper. Okay, so this is not a bad weapon, and with 18 decks, this would also be an interesting weapon to use. It already has magic damage, um, so it's not extremely powerful, but the magic damage itself is not bad. That is an interesting proposition. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think a holy knight would use such a thing, though, so... We are a bit too holy. So we got 6,000 souls because of the items we bought. We could probably... I was going to say we could pop one or... 1,000? That gives us 73. We might be able to level up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I need 10,000 for that dark weapon. I should actually save up for that, too. Um, all right, so here is the question. How are we going to start doing this? Are we going to start with strength? Start using strength weapons? I don't know. I would like to get my faith, though, up to 25. I think that as a, as a cleric, as a uh, master of the faith, we need to do that. That way we can use upcoming faith spells too. So, all right, guys, that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. When we come back, we will probably be making our way through the Cathedral of the Deep. But if I get a little antsy, then we'll go to Farron's Keep. Either way, those are the next couple of episodes. So, without further ado, guys, this is Zero, and I'm out. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>